I'm pretty sure if you're anything like me, when you saw Kangna Ronaud's story on Instagram and all this garbage she's posting about pro-Israel, you felt like the following. Death to Kangna Puh! You know nothing, Kangna, nothing, nothing, you know nothing! Kangna, you pukka sell out! You sold out pukke tarike se, you sell out, yeah? Jahannam, 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 Jahannam! But no, you see, we gotta give her dawah. We need to educate her because she's clearly ignorant. So let's break down her story and let's educate her about the facts of what's happening in Palestine. The first problem with the story is that the premise of your argument already insinuates that Islam has ties with radicalism and terrorism. So off the bat, you're already exposing the fact that you have a bias in your argument. But no, 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 Kangna, it's not just a bias, it's also ignorance. And of course, India stands with Israel. You kidding me? Israel practically groomed India into teaching them how to occupy other people's lands illegally. Kashmir. And in this story, it's classic, the bully looks like he's being bullied. It's that perfect time, right? That a bully or someone is messing with you in class. They keep poking you, they keep teasing you, they keep doing something to you. And when you want to slap them across the head for all the things they're doing, that's the moment the teacher decides to turn their back around. Teacher, where were you this whole time? They saw nothing but you hitting them. So now all of a sudden, the oppressed looks like the oppressor. Because of their lack of vision, they're unable to see the whole story. Take a look at this pro-Zionist page, Stand With Us. They're showing on their page one clip of what's happening, and it's making them seem like the Palestinians are beating them. Look what they're doing! Look what they're doing! They're just going to cars and beating people! But can you please show the original clip of what that Zionist did to the Palestinians? <laughs> You see, Kangana, you're not fully informed. Once again, this post depicts Islam unfairly as being associated with radicalism and terrorism. Yet you don't consider what Israel's been doing to the Palestinians for years a genocide or ethnic cleansing, or even an apartheid in their country today to be having any links to terrorism. But I'm glad you don't consider Israel as terrorists because you're right, they're not terrorists. They're actually just Nazis disguised as Jews. No, Kangna, we are standing against illegal occupation, apartheid, and settlers' colonialism. Duh. It's not even like Muslims standing up for Palestinians. Even non-Muslims and other people from across the globe are standing against what Israel is doing to the Palestinians. And once again, Kangna, you're completely ignorant to this because it's not a Muslim issue. Even Jews themselves are against the illegal state of Israel. I mean, take a look at this clip. Let's go, even Jewish people know Judaism condemns the state of Israel. The real ones know. The real ones know. The real ones know that even in your own faith, you don't support this. This is against. I support these brothers. We have Jewish people here supporting of the Palestinians. They know the truth. They know the truth. They know the truth. They're here supporting. Why is it that your own religion is against you guys? That makes no sense. Come on now, think about it. Think about this. Yeah, Kangna, use your brain. I like that advice. Here's a picture of the original map and what's really taking place in Palestine since the beginning. Besides you being super ignorant, Kangna, and falling into the same propaganda that Hitler and his army used to develop more nationalism amongst the Aryan race, that's exactly the same type of propaganda that they're using with these political cartoons to make you feel like Israel is the victim and the Palestinians are the oppressors. You've literally fallen into the same trap that the Nazis did to the German population way back when. And I'm sorry, who was it again that stood up supporting the Jews after the Holocaust? Oh wait, it was the Palestinians. Don't believe me? Listen to this from this Jewish person's mouth himself. Again, say that again. I said, who stood with the Jews during the Holocaust? Who's standing with the Palestinians during the Holocaust? We, we have go. to stand. We have to stand. That's it. We owe it to ourselves. They owe, they owe it to, to ourselves. ourselves. They know. They know. And it's not just a matter of property, but it's also a matter of moral and principle. Let's suppose I let you chill in my basement and you know you were in some tough times, some drastic times have hit you, unfortunate circumstances, and I say, hey, come through, chill in the lab, stay in the basement. And the next thing I know, you're getting so comfortable and then you start forging all these illegal documents to make it seem that, you know what, this ain't even your house, this is my house. Why? Because I became a squatter in your house and now I'm gonna take ownership of your house. That's what's really taking place. 
The Zionist Israelis are just squatters in the lands of the Palestinians. And now they're just taking over and the world can't do anything about it. And since the world and land belongs to everyone, well, that's a great reason. Then why are you so interested in the Zionists taking over the Palestinian land? If it belongs to everyone, let the Palestinian have their land back. On the verge of extinction, really, Kangana? Did Kangana just compare Jewish people to dinosaurs? Did homegirl over here just compare a Jewish person to a freaking T-Rex? Kangana, this ain't Jurassic World, bro. Oh, Ritek Russian, get your girl, yeah? She tweeting, yeah? She lost the plot. Look, it's easy to get mad at Kangana and other celebrities who are supporting a side which they genuinely might be misinformed towards. But someone such as Kangana, who uses her voice for a lot of positive things, shouldn't be discouraged from speaking about these major issues, which is a good thing. But the problem is that she, along with many other people, need to be informed about the issues. And with social media and the algorithms, a lot of times our social media feeds and timelines are sort of structured to make us believe a specific thing. So instead of just believing your timeline, why don't you actually do some research and learn about the facts of what's happening and what's been happening that Israel's been doing to the Palestinians and how they have been stealing their land. And Kangana, maybe you could come back a little bit more well-informed about what's taking place so you could side with the right party, the party that has been oppressed, not the party that's claiming to be oppressed and is crying victim and oppression. So guys, tag Kangana in this video so that she's able to see this and she can be educated about the issue and don't bash her. Instead, just sort of distance yourself from this person and send her the facts educator on the issue because clearly she's ignorant and until next time i'm out